we're in front of our Christmas trees. We're in the holiday spirit. Ho, 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 we're ready. Ho, 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 we are ready. And I have to tell you, I have been loving Paris and love. I've been watching you film with your girls and how they call you the egg, which is the goat, which we all know you are. But you have to tell us who has the better baby voice, you or Paris? I guess she must have picked it up from me. I don't know. I don't know. Sometimes I just do that and I think I'm doing it like I used to do that with my husband and I still do if I really want to do something or go somewhere and I know he's not in the mood for Mexican food or Chinese food, I use the cute baby voice and then he's like melts. <laughs> so Paris, I think, does it when she's, it's, it's a habit, but also if she's a little shy about something or just so happy. So we need to talk about the wedding. Do you have said a number of times that it's like also planning your own wedding too? So you have to tell us what was the most stressful part about helping plan Paris's wedding? I, I referred to her husband, Carter, as Augie now. And so uh, what that is, is he's an octopus that has his mitts into everything. And um, the other, oh, and he's a groomzilla. He is, so yeah. Octopus is, octopus is for O, and then groomzilla is for G, so I call him Agi. He, Paris is very laid back, very, very, very easy. Not a groom, not a bridezilla at all. So with him, I was away for like four or five days. We spoke all the time. I was coming back. I could do a wedding with my, you know, hands tied behind my back, blindfolded. We already had the, the places secured, but he was calling around, hiring bands, interviewing, making a meeting with the party planner and doing things without me. So I really was a little offended at that. And I don't think Paris realized you don't do that. She's been to two weddings. She's never seen invitations that go to her office. She doesn't get it. So we had gone to pick out the invitation together and we were looking at everything. And then before you know it, they had gone ahead with this big invitation that lights up and it had nothing to do in my mind with the whole vibe and the look of the wedding. And so I just was like, Paris, you gotta tell your fiance to stay in his lane, stay in his own lane, beep, beep. So Kathy, you were talking about how Carter is kind of like a little octopus, a little groomzilla. Was he that way because he felt that Paris might just not show up to the wedding, maybe have cold feet? Did you think that she would get cold feet and not walk down the aisle? I just thought it was so weird that I could not get a list from her. And I really thought, are they gonna surprise me with like a list of 400 people? It was interesting, Paris said, mom, I really want a very small wedding. I don't want a big wedding. And when you think about it, I think it was 190 people between two grown up, you know, Carter and Paris, they have a lot of friends, a lot of business associates. And then Carter's family, our whole family, and both of the mothers and fathers inviting people. That's not really that big of a wedding. Yeah, that's not, but it did look so lavish, the three-day wedding. I mean, we have, we saw a couple of photos, but we're excited to see it all actually play out. What can you tell us? What was your favorite part about the wedding? Oh, everything. I mean, when my husband walked down, the aisle with Paris and I looked at her. It was more the beauty inside and the relationship of, with Paris and her father and him walking her down uh, and giving her away really hit me. And it was very joyful and lighthearted. You know, both of them were very playful during the ceremony. I mean, the wedding itself, when you see and hear some of the speeches, um, the music, the entertainment, uh, the tables. Uh, Paris and I worked very hard 
I designed the tablecloths and I designed the china and the crystal border and um, the Godinger who I've worked with before. So we laid out all of these beautiful table settings at Mark's garden. And I wanted to give her her choice, narrow it down to maybe four. And she gravitated right to what I had designed for her. So I was over the moon. 